okay um still under the content of population structure let's look at the second part of population structure which will be my lesson seven on this series of igcse geography um, and in this pop in this part we'll look at the demographic transition model so certain keywords what is demography demographic uh, simply means population transition simply means change and a model is something used as an example uh, or used to imitate real life so demographic transition model it has to with the population model that try to look at the change changes in population over the years so demographic demography means population transition means change so the demographic transition model basically means the population change model now the demographic transition model look at how a country's population may change as it develops now it looks at birth rate uh, death rate and total population so the demographic transition model is usually divided into five stages stage one is the poorest stage and stage five is the richest stage so let's look at the model now this is the demographic transition model and is from stage one here to stage five now if you look at the keys this represent the birth rate and you see this is birth rate here and we have death rate and we have total population and remember uh, to calculate total population natural population it will be birth rate minus the death rate of um, that particular region for total natural population growth uh, but total population growth that is when you now bring in uh, immigration uh, and uh, emigration you can check lesson one and lesson two for that now so at stage one you find that that at this point what happened is in stage one which is here which applied to most of the world before the industrial revolution so that was where we were um, before the industrial revolution came into place both birth rate and death rate are high so because both birth rate and death rate are high the rate of population growth is is very slow and fairly constant and it's also low so and this can be due to war or, or pandemic so there is high rate of death and high rate of birth so population growth is low now when you go to stage two you find out that there is still high birth rate in stage two and the death rates began to decrease so the rate of population growth begin to increase now so in the introduction of modern medicines uh, modern medicines a lower death rate especially among children while birth rates remain very high this results in rapid population growth many of the least developed countries today are in stage two then when you get to stage three is when the birth rates begin to decrease and death rate is also decreasing further now birth rate gradually decreases usually as a result of improved economic activity uh, as an increase in women's status and access to contraception population growth continues but if low, uh, population growth continues but at a lower rate so most developing countries are in stage three now stage four is when you have lower death and birth rate you get it so the rate of the birth rate and death rate is low in stage four now birth rate and death rate both are low now stabilizing the population these countries tend to have stronger economics high uh, higher level of education better health care a higher prop proportion of working women and a fertility rate hovering around two children per women now most developed countries are in stage four then stage five is where some countries are now tending towards where the debt birth rate the death rate is now becoming higher than the birth rate so as death rate is becoming higher than birth rate you find out that there will be now population decline so the population will begin to decrease stage five will include countries in which the fertility rate has fallen significantly below replacement level where you have two children and the elderly population is greater than the youthful population that is what the dtm theory is all about now what are the limitations 
to this theory and to this model is that it limited predictive capacity so uh, the DTM uh, model itself is shifting is continu there's a continuous shift in the model so with time we might have stage 6 now there is no influence of migration there is no influence of migration so you cannot use it to describe the total population growth of a particular region or country so thank you for this lesson so we, next class which will be uh, lesson 8 we're not going to look at population density and distribution that will be the end of this population theory they will now look at uh, case studies